You know, I haven't even eaten breakfast yet. What's the time? 12.30. Good morning, guys. What's up? Today is officially the last day before the lockdown. Today is Thursday. It's 12.30. In the afternoon and the lockdown starts tonight at midnight so less than 12 hours and we'll be in lockdown i know a lot of people overseas are in like a social distancing kind of thing with us this lockdown is like it's like illegal like you have no choice like as of midnight tonight for the next 21 days we have to stay in our own houses and only leave for essential things like if you need to get medical assistance if you need to get groceries stuff like that but um yeah i think they said that the army is going to create roadblocks all around the neighborhood well actually like all around the country i think have you seen any? no i haven't seen any there hasn't been any on the road right now apparently they say you can only actually go shopping every three or four days and it has to be just you by yourself in your car. It can't be like two or three of you at the same time. You were not even allowed to like walk a dog outside of the yard or anything like that. So it's like very strict. It's incredibly strict. I just went to the store now to get us some like last minute things. Not necessarily essentials, more just like treats. <laughs> the stores were so full. Getting parking was a mission. Getting out of parking was a mission. I got parked in by one of those, you know those cash and transit cars? Okay. They parked me in at Checkers. Look at this, Woolworths is almost empty. Look at that. Uh, still a few things, but for the most part. I'm literally only here to find this one dessert that Keegan and I love. Yay! There's still a bit of dessert as well. <laughs> but look at how empty the meat section is. As you can imagine, getting parking was a mission. A lot of the shelves are empty, there's a lot of cars, there's a lot of people in the stores. Um, I feel bad for the old people because there's also a lot of old people trying to do like a little bit of last minute shopping. It's like from here on out, we are not leaving this house, we are on official lockdown. By the way you guys, the other day Keegan went to go and buy some fruit and he got us pomegranates. Um, but I have no idea how to cut a pomegranate or like how we're supposed to eat it. I know it's like full of seeds or whatever. So if you know the way, please let me know in the comments. Keegan, have you Googled how to cut the pomegranates? Mm -hmm. You probably should. So I am studying. I have moved to the bed because I don't know, it's more fun here. Keegan has gone to get us briyani from our favorite Indian place. I'm currently having some fruit to get that vitamin C in. I was thinking of doing vlogdown. A lockdown vlogmas, or well, like daily vlogging during a lockdown. We can call it a vlogdown or a vlogdown, whichever. Anyway, so I was considering doing that because I thought it would be fun and I literally have nothing else to do for the next 21 days. But 
I honestly don't think I'm going to. I think it's a good challenge to do, of course, especially since we have nothing else to do. But um, I just think that life is going to be so boring. I don't want to bore you guys to death with my videos because I'm literally just going to be inside the whole time. Um, I'm going to try to do like workout challenges. I'm going to try to clean, clear out our closets and stuff like that. But I don't think that that is a good 21 days worth of continuous content to be honest unless each video is like four minutes long i'm going to upload a lot i am gonna vlog a lot it's just not gonna be daily so maybe every other day i don't know i'll see i'll see how i feel yeah i don't know what are you guys gonna spend the next 21 days doing i'd love to hear like what are you gonna be working on this lockdown is really really impacting our jobs guys i won't even sugarcoat it like if planes aren't flying we're not making money that's as simple as it is and i'm sure all the airlines are doing the best they can to like make sure that all of us are employed at the end of this you know we might have to take leave whether it's paid leave or unpaid leave i really really hope that i will be flying as soon as this thing is lifted so for those of you watching this please stay home and and don't go anywhere unnecessarily because if this lockdown is as effective as we all hope it will be then in 21 days we'll all be able to kind of go back to normal life you know we'll all go back to our normal job planes will start flying again and i'll start making money again and it's not even just me i hope you guys understand that it's the ground staff who barely make a good enough salary for anything it's the people who drive the shuttles to and from the airport it's the cleaners at the airport like it's just it's very stressful to know that airports are going to be shut down like it's i <laughs> i'm still wrapping my head around it and i know for a fact that people are going to suffer because of that but um yeah i hope you guys are taking care of yourselves well take care of whoever you're in this lockdown with don't forget don't stop washing your hands you guys don't stop practicing the good hygiene please those are things we should continue to do keegan says that the place was out of briani so instead, he got us something else. This is a small business, hey, that we, yeah. So this place that we get our Indian food from is called Mistress of Spice, and they're a small local business, and we support them, like, every two weeks, right? Yeah, pretty much once every two weeks, we always get, like, briyani from there. We got mutton bunny chow. You guys, how delicious does that look? Like, I know it looks messy and stuff, but that is the point. It looks amazing and it's probably really, really good. I've never had the bunny chow from this place. We always get mutton biryani, but yeah, we're going to try this and see how it is. Can I have a piece of this? It's spicy. Very good. So that's going to be our dinner. Keegan, are you still working? Yeah. Almost done. I'm gonna go finish. And then we're gonna watch The Bachelor, because today is Thursday. Yes, it's almost five o'clock now, and Bachelor is at seven. So, I'm gonna just finish studying, maybe edit this, and then I'll be back for Bachelor. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to spread good vibes and be kind, as always. And we'll see you guys all during the lockdown. Please stay safe. Protect yourself, protect whoever you're with, protect your loved ones. Don't forget to keep washing your hands. And yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Bye.